Like, Vienna is pissing all over my Cheerios, and I don't appreciate that because my Cheerios are delicious. And, I don't know, I, I think that kind of started... Oh, sorry about that zooming out. Don't want to be a killer taco now, do we? Hey, hey, calling you out, son. Let's have him do a couple raids. What else? Uh, so the third bomber now is definitely not doing anything. First bomber is going to do something. He's got full health, so we'll have him bombard once. He got, say, upgrade. I'll give him the, uh, not the insta heal, not the land units. Let's take him the evasion bonus. I feel like that's going to help the longest. I mean, the best, not the longest. I mean, longest, I think all of them will help because I don't know. Uh, this bomber is pretty healthy, so we'll send him in to attack Vienna. And this last bomber is also pretty healthy, so we'll send him in too. And we also have a fighter jet that I'm going to send in, who I actually can't send in, but I can do a air sweep or whatever, so might as well do an air sweep, I guess. See what that does. And let's see here. Got my mobile Sam, I gotta move out. And can he move again, or the fuck? Oh yeah, I gotta wait for that shit to finish, so... Yep, guess it's just gonna be a bombardment, but that doesn't mind me. How are we going to do this? How close are my units to getting there? We got my rocket artillery actually kind of close, so let's send his ass in. Uh, I think right there was the best. Uh, you're still being bombed. Yes, you are. Uh, if I were to attack with my helicopter, that would do... Uh... That'd be not too smart of a move, really. Oh, okay, well, I can choose my production now. Uh, happiness went up, definitely, so that's gonna help out. What I'm thinking I want here is to build the Great Firewall. Because, or the SS Stasis Chamber first. And then he needs orders. Uh, my infantry. So let's start sending him out. Actually, no, let's move the bazooka out a little bit. Let's send my infantry out a little bit. And are we good with the movement of units? Uh, let's scrub the fallout. Because that's actually a pretty useful tile. And this guy still can't do jack shit. So. Let's do an air sweep like right there. Okay. Just wanted to do that for funsies, I guess. Uh, I will pillage the tile to get him some health because he kind of needs that. I'll put you on way to turn mode. Got my rockets people moving out for awesome stuff. And, uh, okay, so, next turn, actually, and this turn we are going to buy out the votes of our favorite people, and we're going to save, and we're going to end it off on the diplomatic victory, implying we do win it, but I'm pretty certain at this rate we are going to win it, which is, uh, bloody fantastic, you know, just bloody fantastic. Uh, I'm being bombarded by something. Oh, a battleship. That's cheeky. Hiding by the forest. Where you can actually see me. Oh god, now they have units trying to attack me. That's a big move. I got XCOM squads ready to fuck your shit up. So no worries. Oh shit. An anti-tank gun just took out all those bastards. That's a dick move. That is a very big dick move. Big dick. <laughs> oh my god, that was, that was actually pretty terrible. Um... Uh, no. I'll give you my marble. Let's do that. And my research agreement will come to fruition in 30 turns, so... Yay, I guess? Uh, not really gonna be super beneficial. Okay. You gotta seriously handle those barbarians, Orbis. Every time. Every time. I look over there. You're being bombarded by some stupid barbarians. Just... Jesus. Fire upon enemies, so let's fuck his shit up. Let's send him in to fuck his shit up. And we're good, yay. More unit. Uh, this guy is gonna. Actually, logistics seems pretty awesome of a move, so let's move him out. Let's attack this guy twice. Just take him out. He ain't hiding about that life, you know. So let's promote a unit. This guy, uh, actually, let's just swap you out. And let's give him the bombardment two or targeting two. Uh, he has both. Well, that's not that useful. I'll give him naval though and start healing him. 
Excom squad, I'll probably pair drop in because we do want some reinforcements here kind of right now. I'll put him right there. Excom squad's going right there. This guy's gonna move right there. Ah, oh, Shay's gonna be in range of winds or whatever. Uh, he's gonna go on heal mode. Excom squad's going to also go on heal mode. This guy's gonna apparently just hide in his corner. He's gonna heal. XCOM squad over here is going to uh, also just go on alert because that's all I can do. A couple more bombers, so let's hit Vienna up. He survived that because he's an awesome dude. He can probably survive another one. Yes, he can. Let's get this uh, bazooka. Let's also bombard it a little bit. And anyone, anyone else here? Any other bombers? Any other bombers that are healthy enough to go? Ooh, this bomber is, so let's send him out. Oh, uh, he's only good against land units too, but whatever. You know, what What it is, it is what it is. Uh, this guy can only move like two spaces for some... Oh, it's because it's in his territory. Um, I'll be sure to move the bazooka out next turn, but we are taking Vienna next turn. It's pretty easy. We don't. It's not even like debatable at this point. Uh, let's get this guy. Let's attack the city. And it's down to zero health, so next turn... Oh shit, I gotta negotiate this turn. Damn, I almost forgot. That would have been that would have been bad. Okay, so Montez, God damn it, can't talk to him because I'm bombing a city right now. So apparently, while you're doing acts of war, you can't uh, have friends. You can't talk to your friends. Uh, I guess that kind of makes sense because I don't know. I, I'd assume you'd want to be kind of focused on the uh, task at hand. So, a couple more bombers coming in. Are you coming in, bomber? Uh, the sound cut out probably because I moved away from the scene or. I don't know, there's like no sound actually, it's kind of creepy. Um, okay, no, there's still sound, it's like the music's gone, okay. So I want sure World Congress, okay, you already gave me his. Who else do I need to talk to? Let's talk to Morocco. I also already took his World Congress. Let's talk to Pedro. World Congress, let's uh, vote for me. Uh, what do you want for that? Oh yeah, he's giving them to me for free because uh, someone did mention in the comments on one of the earlier videos that reviving uh, reviving a city-state from being dis I mean a city from being destroyed actually kinda makes them love you like a lot so Pedro's actually going to always vote for me which is pretty awesome oh, about yeah. Attila? did I already take your votes uh... Ramses I think it is oh, that I need to take some of your votes here what do you want for that? there's no way to make the deal work uh... well shit let's look at the world congress then there's a uh, 16 delegates for me, and our civilization has 17. So, ladies and gentlemen, we are about to win a uh, diplomatic victory. So, allow me to just save here for the uh, new branches profile, I guess, is that to call it? Or, uh, uh, let's see, branches 2.0. Does that work? Yes, that works. Okay, so let's just save it as that. And uh, next turn is going to be an insanely awesome turn, especially because there's going to be a lot of war and a lot of death, which actually sounds really bad, and a lot of other fun stuff that's not really fun for Poland, but pretty fun for me. And got some bombers that I got to... Nope, don't want to do anything with you. Let's just put you to sleep. Let's fortify you. Let's scrub the fallout over where the dies are. Let's start moving him out. Just sending my armies to the north. Poland's days are numbered. Let's hit that next turn button and uh, we are about to win. Uh, they denounced Brazil. Okay. Well, it looks like he just was being a dick to me, so that's kind of cool. Uh, actually, not really cool. I would attack you with Tilo, but I don't really care. And it'd be kind of hard to pull off a dom. Like, it wouldn't be hard to pull off a domination victory. Just to be a pain in the ass because everyone's on these different continents and. I don't know, just be stupid. I, mean, I, I could do it if I really wanted to, I just really don't want to. I'll, I'm definitely doing a cultural and a tourism, I mean cultural and a diplomatic victory though. And possibly just a space race for Bumsies. Um, Was that, did you, wait, did you just try bombing my Sam? Oh god, that was a bad idea there buddy. You don't, you don't bomb Sams, are you cray cray? You crazy? I think you're crazy. Um, let's see what else is going on here. 
Okay, he's just chilling like he should be, I guess. Anything, anything else going on? Come on, I want to get my diplomatic victory. Come on, let's go. Oh, I got 200 gold. I pillage something, maybe? I'm guessing that's the best representation of what just happened. So let's just bombard you with that. Let's send an XCOM squad. That city's ours. Vienna's ours. You can suck it, Poland. Low, low, low. Let's, uh... I could turn it to Maria, actually, which would make them also grateful. But, ah, uh, damn it. Should I do that? Should I be the nice guy, or... Unhappiness by nine? Yeah, fuck that. You can have the city. Austria. I'm being a good guy here, just all around. And getting all those votes. So, Austria's back. Recalled to life. Good Let's spot. trade. I think she's just gonna vote for me anyways. I mean, I hope she does. Let's assign some delegates. It is, uh, no. Wait, did I? No, I do not want him to be the leader. What are you? What the fuck are you smoking, man? I want Venice, the one and only, to be leader. Let's go. Commit those delegates. Yes, I want to commit those delegates. You need orders, this guy. Well, it's not like I'm going to load this save anyway, so I'll just fuck. Did not want to do that. I'll just press space on everything. Just come on, hit space a lot more. Let's go, let's go. Space everywhere. Spaces, spaces. Next turn! Ich sehe, ihr uh, bewundert man Sure! Not like it matters, because I'm pretty sure we have just won a diplomatic victory. I will actually do that because I'm feeling nice, and I'm pretty sure, ladies and gentlemen, I have just won a diplomatic victory, which is kind of revised in the uh, new format of uh, the World Congress, so it's kind of revised, kind of not, but nonetheless. I am almost positive that I have just won a diplomatic victory, which is going to be insanely awesome. So let's just wait. Let's just let's, let's just let's just start celebrating. Let's just start. Uh, let's just let's just let's just commemorate this moment. I have just finished my first Civ game. You have triumphed over your foes. I've won. I've gotten three your different uh you great oh. friends and divided and sown confusion among your enemies. Forever will you be remembered as the leader who brought peace to a weary world. Okay, actually, sorry about talking over that guy who's being kind of epic, but uh, hopefully you did hear that. I apparently brought peace to a weary world, which doesn't really represent what's going on right now. So let's just look at some of the stats, the info, let's go to demographics. I was first in almost everything, except population, uh, by ranking, let's see, my ranking is Augustus Caesar. That's actually pretty good. What was my score? 2558. So I actually did pretty good there. A uh, really, really solid game I had. And replay. Oh shit. Why did I just. What's replay do? What the fuck's replay do? I'm clicking on it. I don't know what's going on here. Is it like. Oh, okay. So it just tells me what's going on here. And here we have the history of my people. You can like pause through that and look at everything that's happened. This took a 467 turns. For me to win a victory we will be back and uh we are going to go for the tourism victory next and the science victory but that is going to be it for now guys we're just gonna end off looking at the uh, main menu here just look at that beautiful main menu and just bask in my greatness because i just pulled off a victory my first civ 5 victory so i'm actually really proud of that you guys watched me through it and that I actually want to thank you for, for helping me throughout this journey, because you guys actually gave me a lot of helpful advice. So really, I do want to thank you for that. I, I, I might have still been able to do this, but you guys, you guys definitely made it a lot easier for me. So this time, just thank you so much. Really love you guys. See ya.